What's up, traveler? After watching anime for majority of my life, I'm about to be 21. I started when I was freaking eight. 90s anime feels so special to me and many others. And heck, I wasn't even born in the 90s and I still have so much nostalgia for some of these shows. So hey traveler, while you're here, why not join me on a new journey into the world of the 90s era of anime? The first thing you'll notice when watching a 90s anime is the apparent and immediate shift in tone. And this tone is in almost any one of these shows, no matter which one you pick. When I watched my first 90s anime, which was either Yu Yu Hakusho, Roroni Kenshin, or Ranma One Half, one of the first thoughts I had was that these shows felt so much different than any other anime I have seen before. And for me, being a young lad, it was slightly intimidating? I say only slightly because it was much more engaging than intimidating. No matter which of these shows you pick, no matter which genre, you will immediately notice the darker tone. This is one of the reasons why many people, including myself, prefer this look in anime. This default darker tone will make almost any of these shows a bit more engaging, even if it's a lighthearted show. And of course, it makes the more darker shows pitch black in tone. I recently watched Ghost in the Shell, absolute masterpiece. This is the perfect example of the dark tone in 90s anime. And you can thank the hand-drawn background of this era that makes it so much easier to immerse into the world you're experiencing and puts you on edge in a good way. When discussing why so many people enjoy the look of 90s anime, it's definitely thanks to the character design of this era. And I think a lot of us can agree that the design of the characters have a certain charm to them like no other era. Now, of course, the design varies from anime to anime, but the overall consensus is still there. A lot of the characters exude so much personality and are very expressive. There will be times where I'll find a 90s anime and want to watch it just because I think the characters look really cool or look really cute look really hot. Fuck it, all three. I mean, that's why I watched Outlaw Star. One, because I heard it was good. And two, because of baby girl Aisha. I saw her once and I was in. Can you blame me? Go watch Outlaw Star, it's a masterpiece. Let's take a look at Cowboy Bebop next. This anime definitely has some of the best and most memorable character design in anime. The character design was done by Toshihiro Kawamoto, who uh, <laughs> he also did the character design of Golden Boy. Also watch Golden Boy. All I'ma say, it's an experience. If you know, you know. Life is study. One of the reasons why Cowboy Bebop is so memorable is because of the style of the characters. The Bebop crew have some of the most memorable designs in anime. Damn near fiction. Spike is the definition of cool. Faye is a bombshell badass who will rob you clean if you're not careful. Jet is a reliable homie and Ed is a free-spirited hacker derp. Alright, so keeping on with the topic of style. Gotta mention the drip of 90s anime characters. And to start it off, you already know, you already know. You, you Haku Show, bro. In anime and just fiction in general, for multiple reasons, characters will usually wear the same thing over and over again. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because the outfit that the characters wear show who they are, their personality, their way of expressing themselves. But when they do decide to change outfits and express themselves even more, Yusuke's red jacket and jean combo, 
or him with the new hairstyle, green jacket, and sunglasses? Bro! This man Yusuke is a goddamn fashion icon! When we first see Botan, she has her pink kimono on. But as we progress through the journey of this series, she says, fuck it, let me switch it up. And now you can see why so many people back then and even now have a crush on- I, I now have a crush on her. God, I, I have a crush on her now, God damn it. It's just a casual fit. But it looks so clean! And this isn't her only one, like, dude! Another one that I, I have to mention is Sailor Moon. I haven't fully seen Sailor Moon yet. I'm going to. It's on my watch list. Don't kill me. And these outfits are one of the main reasons why. Not only do these outfits look really awesome and cute, but again, it's showing off their personality and having them express themselves for who they are. Yo, leave in the comments more characters who you think have some great freaking outfits. You've been waiting for this one, haven't you? I can only hope this video popped up if you looked up 90s anime aesthetic. And I hope you've been vibing out in this video, especially with me playing lo-fi in the background. Now, before I go on any further, let me just say, I adore the way anime looks nowadays. I don't have many issues with it at all. With the character design, the anime, definitely not the fucking animation, Jesus. A lot of the stuff that modern anime does nowadays blows me away and has made me fall in love with the medium so much more. I mean, majority of my favorite anime of all time are past the 90s era of anime. But that being said, with the darker tone, the unique and expressive character design, and finally, the thing that makes it all come together, the beautiful hand-drawn backgrounds. If there's one reason why I prefer the look of 90s anime over the modern era, it's because of the backgrounds. And because of some of the backgrounds not being fully hand-drawn in the modern era, opting to go digital to save time and stress, which I fully understand, it doesn't have the same vibe that the 90s anime do. 90s era backgrounds have this nostalgic and warm feeling behind it. And again, it makes it easier to immerse yourself into the world you're experiencing. There's a reason why whenever you listen to lo-fi on YouTube, majority of the time the video will most likely have a 90s anime in it because of its comforting vibe, atmosphere, and aesthetic. It works hand in hand with lo-fi. Internet Pit Stop made a freaking four hour video on anime backgrounds, which I highly recommend you watch because the backgrounds in anime definitely need to be more appreciated because without them these anime from any era wouldn't be whole and so because of the tone the character design and the background art it gives the 90s era of anime its unique and comfortable vibe and aesthetic i turn on one of these shows dim my lights and just vibe this right here is the beauty of 90s anime I hope you enjoyed your stay, Traveler, chilling out and vibing with us. I hope you got some well-needed rest because, oh boy, the world is friggin' stressful, dude. And I can only hope this isn't goodbye forever. But hey, we're both vagabonds. I'm sure we'll run into each other again on our journeys. So, have a damn good one. Safe travels.